Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to calculate the different performance metrics given the confusion matrix for multi-class classification problem. In this case, we have been given a confusion matrix with three classes that is class 1, class 2 and class 3. Given this confusion matrix, we will try to calculate the different performance matrix here. Before we calculate uh, the different performance matrix, first we need to convert this particular multi-class classification problems confusion matrix into binary classification problems confusion matrix. It looks something like this. Again, I have uh, true classes on the vertical axis, predicted classes on the horizontal axis. This particular confusion matrix contains two classes. The first class is yes and the second class is no in this particular case. Now, if you look at this particular TP, TP is nothing but the number of S examples which are classified as S here. That is nothing but the true positive in this particular case. This Fn is nothing but the number of S examples which were classified as no in this case. That is nothing but false negative in this case. Coming back to the third entry that is Fp. That is nothing but the number of no examples which are classified as S or you can say that wrongly predicted over here. Coming back to the last one that is Tn. Tn is nothing but the number of no examples predicted as no over here or classified as no. That is nothing but the true negative in this particular case. Again, if you look at this particular thing, Tp and Tn are correctly classified or predicted. Fp and Fn are incorrectly predicted or classified in this case. First, we will convert this uh, multi-class classification confusion matrix into binary confusion matrix. And then we will calculate the different performance matrix. Now the question comes in front of us is how to convert this multi-class classification confusion matrix into binary classification confusion matrix that can be done something like this. What we need to do here is first we will consider this class 1 as the S examples and remaining these two that is class 2 and 3 will be considered as no examples and then we will get only two classes here that is class 1 as yes class 2 3 as no in this case. Now once you get that particular thing we will get the confusion matrix something like this. 1 is S here and 2, 3 as considered as no in this case. Now, if you look at this particular confusion matrix, the number of class 1 examples which were predicted as 1 in this case is 8 here. So, that is what I have written as a true positive in this case. This 2 and 0, they are of type class 1 but they were classified as 2, 3 here. The meaning of this one is they are of type S yes examples, but they were classified as no. That is nothing but false negative. That is what I have written here. Coming back to these two examples, if you consider these two examples, these two are of type 2, 3. That is nothing but no examples, but they were classified as class 1. That is nothing but S yes here. That is nothing but false positive. False positive will become 2 here. And these four examples are of type, you can say that uh, 2, 3 and they were classified as 2, 3 here. The meaning is they were classified correctly and it is true negative here which is equal to 18 in this case. Now I will consider 2 as the class yes and then remaining 2 that is 1 and 3 as the class no and then I will try to come up with the confusion matrix for binary classification. Now if you look at this particular matrix again, the number of 2 examples or class 2 examples which were predicted as 2 are 9 here. So that is what you can notice here and I have written it here that is true positive in this case. If you look at these two numbers that is 1 and 0 they are of type class 2 but they were classified or predicted as 1, 3 here. The meaning is it is a false negative in this case. And if you look at these two numbers that is uh, this 2 and this 2 they are of type 1 and 3 that is nothing but no examples but they were predicted as 2 here that is nothing but yes in this case so it is nothing but false positive here and these four this is 8 0 1 and 7 they are of type 1 3 and they were classified as 1 3 the meaning is no examples were predicted as no that is nothing but true negative which is equal to 16 here similarly we need to create one more confusion matrix for the third one where 3 will be considered as yes and 1 2 will be considered as no here and it looks something like this. Once you form this uh, confusion matrix for binary classification, now we will try to find the values for each of those particular performance matrix. The first one in this case is accuracy. Accuracy for class 1 is equal to Tp plus Tn that is nothing but true positive plus uh, true negative. 
that is the correct classification divided by all possibilities which are present in this uh, confusion matrix that is nothing but tp true positive plus fn false negative fp false positive plus tn that is true negative here once you put the values from this particular confusion matrix into this equation you will get 0.87 as the accuracy for class 1 here similarly we will calculate the accuracy for class 2 again we need to use the same equation but the values we need to use it from this particular uh, confusion matrix here we will get 0.83 as the accuracy for second class similarly for the third class we need to use the values from this particular mat matrix we will get 0 0.90 as the accuracy in this case now we will try to calculate the remaining performance matrix precision of class 1 is equivalent to tp divided by tp plus fp so i will put the values here again i will get the value as 0 0.8 for a class 1 precision similarly we will calculate the recall for class 1 which is equivalent to tp divided by tp plus fn which is equivalent to 0 0.8 once you calculate precision and recall for class 1, we can calculate the F1 score for class 1 which is equivalent to 2 times precision multiplied by recall divided by precision plus recall. We have these values. We will put those values and then we will get 0.8 as the F1 score for the class 1 over here. Similarly, I will calculate the precision for class 2. I will put the values from this one into this equation. I will get the precision for class 2 is equivalent to 0.69. Similarly, recall for class 2 is equal to 0.9 and the F1 score for class 2 is equal to 0.78 here. Once you are done with the class 2, I will go with class 3. Again, the same equation. Only thing is we need to put the values from this particular matrix. The precision for class 3 is equal to 1.0. Recall is equal to 0.7 and F1 score for class 3 is equal to 0.82 in this case. Once you calculate precision, recall and F1 score, the next point is to calculate macro F1 score. Macro F1 score is always equal to F1 score of class 1 plus F1 score of class 2 plus F1 score of class 3 divided by 3 here. Because we have 3 classes, add all the F1 scores divided by the number of classes here. We have already calculated these particular values. We will put it in this equation. We will get macro F1 score is equal to 0.8 in this case. Similarly, we will calculate the weighted F1 score which is equal to the number of class 1 examples multiplied by F1 score of class 1 plus the number of uh, class 2 examples multiplied by F1 score of class 2 examples, number of class 3 examples multiplied by F1 score of class 3 examples divided by number of class 1 examples plus number of class 2 examples plus number of class 3 examples which is equal to 0.8 in this case. So in this video, I have discussed how can we convert multi-class classification confusion matrix into binary confusion matrix and how to calculate the different performance matrix. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.